First, we must reject as a nation the false paradigm that if you're pro-energy, you're anti-environment, and if you're pro-environment, you're anti-energy. I utterly reject that narrative. In this nation, we can grow our economy, harvest the resources God has blessed us with, while also being good stewards of the air, land, and water by which we've been favored. It is not an either-or proposition. Next, we should celebrate the great progress we've made as a nation since the inception of the EPA and the laws that have been passed by this body, but recognize that we have much work to do. Third, rule of law matters. Process matters. It inspires confidence in those that are regulated. The law is static, not transient. Regulators are supposed to make things regular, to fairly and equitably enforce the rules and not pick winners and losers. A regulator should not be for or against any sector of our economy. Instead, a regulator ought to follow the law in setting up the rules so that those who are regulated can plan, allocate resources to meet the standards versus operating in a state of uncertainty and duress. Fourth, federalism matters. It matters because Congress says so. And because we need to achieve good outcomes as a nation for air and water quality, we need the partnership of the states to achieve that. It is our state regulators who oftentimes best understand the local needs and the uniqueness of our environmental challenges. Plus, our state regulators possess the resources and expertise to enforce our environmental laws. Fifth, public participation is key. We need to hear all voices as we make decisions in behalf of our country with respect to environmental laws. Two final things personally. I seek to be a good listener, to listen and to lead. You can't do one without the other. Listen to those career staff. Listen to those career staff at the EPA, as I've done as Attorney General of Oklahoma, and listen to you here in Congress with respect to the needs of your respective states, and listen to the voice of all Americans as we seek to carry out our duties under the law. Lastly, and this is very important, I seek to serve with civility. Oftentimes, as policymakers, you deal with very contentious issues. I have as Attorney General of Oklahoma as well. We deal with weighty issues, and there are pa there's passion on both sides of issues. But we should not succumb to personalizing matters. We should encourage open and civil discourse. One such issue where civil discourse is absent involves climate change. Let me say to you, science tells us that the climate is changing, and then human activity in some manner impacts that change. The ability to measure with precision the degree and extent of that impact and what to do about it are subject to continuing debate and dialogue, and well it should be.